Hey y'all, it's Katie. I hope everyone's doing well. Today we are going to be talking about Nemesis by Brendan Rikes. I gave this book 10 out of 10 because it was such an amazing read. I don't know the last time I finished a book and my brain felt as much like mush as it did when I finished this one. Um, I never saw what was happening coming. Like I had all of these guesses as to what would happen and none of them would ever be right. Like I just kept being incredibly surprised and it was just amazing. It was such an amazing read. For those of you who don't know, this book is set in two points of view, the first being Min and the second being Noah. Every two years on Min's birthday, she's murdered the whole way. And I'm not talking like, oh, almost, like she dies every time. And then she wakes up in the middle of the woods um, she's totally fine. There's nothing left over to show that something happened to her. There's no proof and no one believes her. She's been seeing a psychiatrist since she was younger to kind of talk through these hallucinations. Noah has the same birthday as Min and he has these crazy dreams that have like death and murder and are really confusing and they just really mess him up and he's got a lot of like anxiety going on with it and he also sees a psychiatrist to kind of talk through it all and help with it because he doesn't know what's wrong with him why these dreams won't go away and both of these protagonists are kind of up in the air right now because there is a comet hurtling towards the planet and NASA doesn't know yet whether or not it's going to destroy the world so everything is kind of crazy and hectic and they're kind of trying to deal with the fact that like the very planet that they live on might be about to turn into nothing while they're also dealing with these issues of like oh I get murdered and I have dreams about death. The writing was so fun and it didn't kind of lie about the way that people react to certain situations like a lot of times we kind of glorify like oh we will handle everything well and like sometimes people don't and I think that uh, Brendan Reichs did a really great job of capturing that and having really complex characters who, you know, were dealing with things and who the situations affected and uh, the way this plot moved was all over areas that I hadn't even considered while I was reading. It really made you think about like people and like what happens to them and how they change in certain situations and honestly for a novel it's so so long like 450 pages and so in depth and I literally don't know the last time I was this pleased by a novel this intrigued by a novel to be honest while I was reading it kind of gave me the same feel that I have when I'm watching certain Doctor Who episodes where I don't know what's happening like there's something going on and it's kind of doesn't make any sense and you literally don't know what's happening like the plot makes no sense. It doesn't even feel like there is a plot until the last 10 minutes of the episode and suddenly everything falls into place and you understand. And that's kind of how this book felt like all of these things were happening and I was so confused and every time I thought that I understood what was going on, it completely something else happened and you're like, what? And it was such, such, such a great read. I think this is definitely going to be going in like my favorite books of all time list. So that is going to be it for the spoiler free section. If you have not read this book, go ahead below and click one of the links. I would definitely recommend you get your hands on it somehow. I did not expect any of this. When I came into this book, I thought it was some kind of like fantasy thing where there was like going to be magic or some sort of like revenant thing or some kind of mystical power element -y thing but no it's literally all science and technology which is so cool like I have not read a book that has that kind of plot twist probably ever and I don't know I mean the last time that I read something similar to this was probably Allegiant where it all turned out to be genes but we're not gonna talk about Allegiant right now but I really I'm I was so flabbergasted like I had no idea this was coming any of it. Um, I spent most of the book just like thinking about how great it would feel to punch Ethan in the face because I literally cannot stand him. Like I don't know the last time a character has pissed me off so much. Like just taking charge and bossing everyone around not even being like okay listen this is what I think is best. It was this is what's best. Do what we say or we'll literally kill you. Like who made you in charge? Like who gave you the right 
to start killing people because they don't agree with you when you're literally like trying to take charge of a bunch of teenagers like you're all teenagers into this place like you should be working together and collaborating and not trying to boss everyone around like you're not any better than them any more experienced than them what the fuck this was a very rare occasion in which i did not read ahead and like look at the last page before i got there while i was reading the book and i'm so so glad that i didn't because honestly i don't know how i would have handled it seeing that before i got there like I know I read the last page of King's Cage when I got it, and, like, now I still haven't read it. It's just sitting on my shelf because, like, I don't want to be that pissed off. This was really just such a great read. Like, I never saw any of it coming. The computer, like, not even just, like, oh, this was a government experiment thing. That was, like, whoa. But literally, like, we uploaded you to a database. What? That, what? My brain is still kind of, like, trying to put these pieces together. Like, I finished it a couple hours ago, and, like, I stared at a wall for a solid 20 minutes just trying to like wrap my head around everything that happened in this book and like how I feel about it because it was just so well done and like I'm trying to like figure out if there's any problems that I had with it but like it was just so good. I'm very conflicted because while I understand that like the project was trying to save everyone long term and had like good intentions, I feel like they could have done that and still been there for them when they were literally letting them be murdered as kids like I understand like oh their mothers signed off on this and like the principal was okay because they wanted them to survive when this happened but like you could have in the meantime been there been like yes I'm so sorry that this happened to you and like validated and not made them think that they were going crazy or alone in the world like that was very possible and it just like makes me angry because I feel like the characters whenever that happened they were like oh they did love us and they didn't mean to do anything wrong and it's very like Snape style like just because they were part of like the good team doesn't make their all of their actions good like it doesn't make them good people and it doesn't make what they did okay just because it, the overarching things that they did were for the greater good like no I don't honestly know still how I feel about the ending um like Noah going a little bit crazy kind of I'm very conflicted you know because it's real like that's the kind of thing that happens sometimes like people are like oh yeah like there's a reason that we have all of these crazy similar things like there's a reason why we have dictatorships in history on like why people take charge and it's because like that is a thing that sometimes like they are inclined to do when things like this happen so I thought it was very real but like I'm still so frustrated because like you cared about Min and like it looks like you were like having a lot of feelings for her and like we're wanting that long term and I like he felt like a very good person he always wanted Ethan to not be mean to people kind of even though he didn't do anything about it which is annoying but then all of a sudden like his brain just like snapped to the point where he killed Min and I'm just it was real but like also I'm just so sad because we lost such a great character, even though it was in such a well-written way, you know? Like, it, it happened, and that's something that would have happened, but, like, little part of me is still very sad. I'm gonna apologize now because I know I've said like, like, 20,000 times in this video, so I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a problem. I'll work on it. All things being said, though, I think this is the happiest I've been with a more open-ended, um ending to a book in a while normally they just frustrate me because I don't want to think about what happens like I want you to tell me I want to know in detail I want to see it happen I don't want to just have to come up with it and figure it out on my own and like decide what I want to have happened but in this case it just felt really right really perfect and really well suited to this particular book and to the characters that we have and kind of it ended on such a strong solid note that I thought it was good. That's gonna be it for this book review. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one.